We are on a six state driving trip. In the last episode, I found an amazing remote campsite by a hot spring in Nevada. Today, we are pressing forward and will cross into my 49th state. Hey everybody, just want to let us know we are back on the road again Whew. with heat. Wow, I mean this is just probably the most beautiful campsite I have ever woken up to in my life. I've never actually done rustic camping like that, but I figured with the Jeep you can pretty much go anywhere. Um, so yeah, like I said, I found a uh, Found that incredible campsite absolutely loved it except um this is something more for not winter unless you've got the ability to stay warm and i thought i had it down pat last night but it just yeah it got really cold i'm not kidding it got really cold so um what we're doing right now heading up to austin so i can empty the garbage um got a half tank so i'm gonna fill up on the tank get a hot cup of coffee and then we're gonna plot our way up to idaho so let's go if I could A rule that I've learned to follow in my travels was to observe the locals and do what they do. As we come into Austin, Nevada along US 50, also known as the loneliest highway in America, you will see the speed limit dropping to 25 miles per hour from 70. I've noticed that the locals all drop to the speed limit so I am assuming that speed limits are strictly enforced in towns along the way. If you think about it, for many of these far-flung pockets of civilization, Speeding tickets from tourists may be a good source of income for the local governments. I would be careful and slow down when you come into towns and enjoy the fast 70 mile per hour highways on the open road. hours of driving, I'm needing to shake things up a bit. Fortunately for me, a dirt road just happened to appear ahead of me. of the state is just unreal so we had a brief stint along the interstate and it was actually a treat it was some beautiful beautiful country we were traveling through uh, definitely helped make up a little bit of time there but now we're heading across on another two-lane highway this one a bit busier than the one that we were on earlier today definitely a lot more traffic but my god the scenery uh, looks like we're heading towards some more snow-capped mountains so 
Hope you guys are enjoying this drive. I am. Well, welcome to Oregon, my 48th state. That drive through Nevada was a long, long drive, but my God, was it beautiful. And it looks like the natural beauty is gonna continue here in the Oregon. As this long day of driving continued, the sun sank lower and lower into the sky. My hope is that I'll be able to cross into Idaho before it gets too dark to see anything. Well, you see the Alpine Glow out there on those hills? That is my 49th state, Idaho, and we are about to cross the state line. So that means once I cross the state line, the only state left for me to uh, set foot in is going to be Alaska. At least we're making it to Idaho with at least some daylight so I can see a little bit of the landscape. Here it is, Idaho. Once out of the mountains in Idaho, it was like being back in Indiana. Lots of farms and people. I pulled over for the night in Ontario, Oregon. This time though, I'm staying at a hotel. Whew. All right, everybody. Welcome back to civilization. As you can see, I've checked into a hotel, just not enough time to do another night of camping. Oh, a few things here. First of all, had a little accident today when I was shooting this epic footage. Well, I had my camera sitting out on my backpack so I can quickly grab it if something looked interesting. And when I opened the door, it fell out. And look what happened here. Now, luckily, get it off of here. Yeah, no damage. Luckily, the protective cover did its job which means now I have to be really careful with this because I don't have any protection on the camera, um, which is okay because, get this glass out here, I will not be shooting any pictures tomorrow. We got a very long drive ahead of us to uh, get to my final destination. I'll tell you guys what it is in the next episode. Um, but So I'm going to be getting up at like, uh, well, I want to be out of here by 8 tomorrow morning. So anyhow, I am going to have a real meal, finally get a nice hot shower in, and go to bed. <sighs> oh, that's so much better than camping. Well, welcome to my last day of freedom. Stay tuned and you'll uh, find out why. So after grabbing breakfast at the hotel, we are going to get on the road to my final location. I'm going to be picking up a coworker at the airport later tonight, so I need to leave well before sunrise to make sure I get there on time. So I'm going to go ahead and drop you a little hint as to where we may be going. We are leaving Oregon and we Welcome are Welcome to Washington. And we're now in Washington. Good thing I left early this morning. I battled a lot of fog and in some cases icy roads on my way west. Once I arrived in the Cascade Mountains, the weather cleared up. I went over Snoqualmie Pass and drove by the ski resort I went to on my first trip to this area over 10 years ago. Of course, Seattle during rush hour was not much fun. I really wish that I could have slowed down a bit and enjoyed the amazing scenery of the Cascade Mountains as I continued to make my way north. Finally, after four days of driving, I arrive in Oak Harbor, Washington. This is where I'll be staying for a few weeks. 
This has been one epic drive up the middle of the western United States. By far, Nevada was my favorite. Hopefully on my way home, I will have more time to explore and photograph the locations I'm traveling through. Make sure you click the subscribe button and check out my bonus content on patreon.com forward slash EWJ. Never stop exploring and I'll see you all in the next episode.